word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I'm Devin and I'm here with Emma. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. I'm here with CJ. Hello. And again, just the three amigos. <laughs> the three amigos. Woo, woo, woo. Alexander's having That's issues true. with his internet just and Maxie's busy, busy, busy. Um, next week, we will just be us three again because mm-hmm. we're actually not on. So we're doing a few extras, aren't we? Oh, I and know. then... They don't need to know that. No, you don't need to know that. And then the week after, we might have the full fam back. The Fab Five. I want to start by asking you a simple question. Right. Does everyone know who Captain Planet is? Yes, he's a hero. Yeah. He, he's going to take pollution down to zero. Which member of the... No Trump was around. Which, <laughs> which member of the uh, Planeteers would you be? I can't remember. Earth, wind, white, earth, wind, fire, water. It's not, yeah, not the band. <laughs> earth, wind, and fire. Wait, did I get it right though? Is that, earth, there's one earth, earth, wind. Earth, wind, fire. Water. Water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would be, oh, I've got to think about that. What about you, CJ? I don't know. I've never been I asked think, that question before. I feel like I'd be Water. Water, because you're wishy-washy. No, because water can get into every crevice everywhere. (laughs) Like, I could go wherever I wanted. (laughs) That's sand. Sand Sand can get into every crevice everywhere. This is true. um, What would you be, Siege? I like fire. Fire? Yeah. And water's fluid. (laughs) Yeah. I'm fluid. Oh, I'm. I, I'd be hot. I'd be hot because I was. My heart always gets broken. <laughs> Is there such a thing as heart? Yeah, that's how they all come together. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, so you have the really. worst power out of all of them. <laughs> yeah, I did. The worst power. No, maybe you reverse it and you break people's hearts. Nah, but I'll probably be no. Earth. I like Earth. No, mm-hmm. no, no, no. You already said heart. You can't go back. You're, you are heart. Just the gay power. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> he's not the gay one. Yeah, he is now. He's the one with the monkey. You see? Yeah. Everyone has a heart. It's not discriminate. I don't know if everyone has a heart. <sighs> <laughs> um, just so our, our listeners can hear. Uh, we seem to have come in between a little tiffy tiff <laughs> bet- between um, t- t- two spouses, right? <laughs> and one of them's acting a little bit bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not the one you think it would be. <laughs> well, I'm water, so I'm just fluid. Mm. I'll move on. Keep mm. on moving. Um. Well, yes. What what else were you going to say about Captain Planet? No, I just um, it was just because the other two aren't here, so we the Captain Planet oh. can't appear. Oh. Yeah, we need the five rings to combine. Oh. Are you sure you know who Captain Planet is? Yeah. It sounds like you don't know who Captain Planet is. Yeah, I used to watch it growing up, and I know the theme tune, but I can't actually remember what happens too much. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, man. Like I I, I remember watching it, but like. Yeah, it's been a long time. But I, I think, yeah, <laughs> earth, wind, fire, water. And then it starts saying, do you remember? Oh, I don't remember Dancing the heart. around bit, September. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, mm-hmm. yes, that's true. Now, for our first article, it's a doozy. Mm. Wait, is doozy good or bad? Um, It's a... I feel like it can it be, be used in both doozy. situations. It could be a bad doozy. I quite like it. So. Oh, okay. Oh. So every dog got it. Every dog has its day. Has its day. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. It's a good thing. Wait, what? <laughs> it's a good thing. Yeah. No, I see it as a- bad. Every dog has his day. Yeah, yeah. They, no, they say it in a bad way. They're like, every dog no. has his day because they're referring but to that person being a dog. In a good way as well. Like, I've had a bit of bad r- luck, but every dog has his day. So I have a bit of good luck soon. 
No, it's the other way yeah. around. That's what Google no. said is CJ's. CJ's um, explanation is what Google says is right. Every dog has its day. Oh, you're Which right. Is, yeah. I, I so why do people maker. leave it? Use it in a bad way. They it, they're using it wrong. They're using. It's because, it's because people are negative. <laughs> people need to become ah. more positive. All right. I like I'm this new all, CJ. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this negativity. Okay. CJ is the new guru. Interesting. Did you like the way? But you know what? You've heard it the way I've said it. Yeah. I have. Every dog has his day. <laughs> <laughs> It's like he's a dog. Jeez. And he's yeah, having his dog day. You, mate. <laughs> My Freaking dog's hell. lovely. My dog's really lovely. With his curly coat. How how how, how, is, how is your dog? He's getting a little bit better, but he is still a bit of a handful. And handful. but he loves a lovely he loves like a he just loves sort of hanging out, mm. but he's really still Hyper, yeah. I think it's anxiety. I think it's just because yeah. he's a puppy. Oh, yeah, he's still a baby, mate. Yeah, yeah. He's Feb, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Nine months old. Hmm. My dog turns one year soon. Oh, kitty! Yeah. Your dog seems so placid. She's not. <laughs> oh. Mm. We need. I need to see her in real life. Yeah, yeah. You're not here when she's jumping up and down the couch, kamikaze jumping from the couch to the other couch. <laughs> she's an absolute lunatic. Okay. All right. I like that then because I was similar. But okay, to proceed. So this is quite strange. Dev, you put this one in. Mm. Now, there's a website and this website is called This Person Does Not Exist. If you type that in to your web browser, feel free to do it now. Mm -hmm. It will bring up a headshot of a stranger, right? Mm -hmm. It says, at first glance, it looks like just a HR profile picture. Yeah. But when you refresh the site, it regenerates another face of a person you might know, right? Except you don't, and no one knows, it says, because absolutely every face on the website is totally and utterly fake. Yes. So if you go to that website now, for me, it brought up a picture of this, like, like maybe a, maybe she looks about 18 mm. or probably older, but it looks like a proper girl. Let me refresh. And it just looks like a normal person. The next one looks like someone's mum at a wedding, maybe. Mm. Right? It's spooky, right? Yeah. Next one just looks like some dude. So, it's just generated by AI, by an AI algorithm called Generative Adversarial Networks, GANs, GANs. Yeah. And every time you refresh the page, the algorithm generates a hyper-realistic but absolutely fake image of a person. And it was set up by this software engineer, I don't know why, Philip Wang, to demonstrate basically what GANs are capable of. That's and a messed up name, Philip Wang. Philip Wang. Is and it, then he it, shared the page on a Facebook group called Artificial Intelligence and Deep Learning. So the code that made the, this website was written by NVIDIA and it was put in a paper and it was available for peer review um, and called StyleGAN. The neural network, and it says the neural network has in, infinite applicability for everything from gaming to creating false documents. So... Well, what do you mean? Um, they can create a passport, passport for this person? I think they can basically create, yeah, False documents, anything that you just need a person's face, but it's not actually a real person. And it never was and never will be. It never was and it never will be. A real person because it's completely fake. But it no, looks like a real person. Hmm. So it says the way it works is GANs, all GANs have two networks, the generator and the discriminator. 
So the generator synthesizes new samples from scratch. Wait, wait. How can, like, so are you telling me that this code has information on everyone's face around the world so that they don't copy anyone's face? Wait, what? So how can they say that they can't, they won't replicate a person, like the person's fake? It may look like a person, but it isn't a person. They can only do that if they have all the information of all the people in the world with the fa- like with their facial features. How do you know? How do they know they're not going to replicate someone? An actual person. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know. So this is what it says. So you have your generator and discriminator. Um, the generator synthesizes new samples from scratch mm. and the discriminator takes samples from both the training data. So there must be some sort of training data and the generator's output and predicts if they're real or fake. Oh. The generator receives a random vector, which is a noise basically. And therefore its initial output is also noise. After it receives feedback from the discriminator, it learns to synthesize more realistic images. So it's I have no learning idea. how I have no to... no idea what you're saying, but it sounds scary. I thought you said the Simultaneously, said the discriminator is also learning by comparing generated samples with real samples, making oh, it harder okay. for the generator to deceive it. Right. Okay. So the generator is trying to like bring up pictures and the discriminator has to say, is that real or fake, basically? And then that's learning whilst that's learning. And uh, I don't know. Right. I feel like we need scientific maxi for this. To He might be able to break or it maybe down your, better. maybe your brother, an engineer. Yes, we need engineer AJ. AJ. Um, but, but CJ, if- is that scary to you? That there's a program that's able to make fake faces and then make fake documents for those faces for the people that yeah. don't exist. Because now you can probably get a fake face. You can do most of the stuff online now, like create bank accounts and things like that. Yeah, <sighs> that's true. Because like that, this has got oh. like fraud, fraud written all over it. Because I'm looking at this website now and refreshing and every time I refresh, it literally just looks like the bloke from next door or the woman around the corner or whatever. And it's absolutely fake. So crazy. Yeah, you can do stuff online now and you don't even yeah. have to go in and they're creating fake documents. Are, are, are they talking about birth like, certificates? and Like, like what's the stop of a fake, so. creating a fake charity on one of these people, having people donate to this fake charity and then, you know... Who are you going to blame? The guy that doesn't exist. Oh. Don't trust him. Trying to rip us off again. Isn't it strange? That's why we need more human to human contact. Yeah. I'm old school. I like to see people. Mm. I want to look. I want them to look in my eyes. If they try to rip me off, I can see it in their eyes. I can sense it. Smell it. Look at me. Look at me. I'm just on Reddit and I'm seeing if there's any other comments about this. Yeah. Well, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's like people won't exist soon if they keep going with it like this. No, people will exist. No, nah, people will die out on these big computers. And we'll be like, oh, where's people gone? Oh, they're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to tell us. It'll just be one fake profile talking to another fake profile trying to rip it off. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we this is the way the world's heading. See, Idiots. While Emma's like um researching a bit more into the Reddit, um Yeah. There was this prank there was this prank on online, right? Where yes. someone someone uh so like for example, the there's two daughters, right? One daughter has a phone and the other daughter has a phone. The first daughter would ring the mum, and the second daughter would ring the dad, right? Mm-hmm. And then they'd put the phone next to each other, mm-hmm. and the phone one would the mother on the phone would talk to the father on phone two, and they would mm-hmm. yell at each other, going, "Why did you ring me?" And they the other person would go, "I didn't ring you. You rang me." But they'd talk to each other via the phone, and they'd get so confused. Because they were like, no, you rang me. And they're like, no, no, you rang me. And they played this joke. And then after a while, they just had a conversation about what I was having, like what was what they were going to have that night. 
It's a pretty good prank. Do you think that was a good prank? Nah, not really. To be honest with you, that was a pretty... The the one I liked, I watched one. It was a guy was putting parcels in front of his house. Yeah. And people were stealing parcels, right? So when they would steal them, he had cameras inside. Yeah. And and it would spin and release this fart smell. What? And like... um, What's that sticky stuff like? Like shiny stuff. Um, spark is like sparkles. Yeah, strippers wear it. <laughs> what tassels? Not tassels. Um, what's it called again? Hmm. Sh- Glitter. Um, you know, like sh- it's shiny. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to help you. You know, helping me, help me out here. <laughs> Strippers and gay people like it. <laughs> you got to give me more clues than that. Help me out, mate. I forgot what it's called. But Glitter. It's just gone. Glitter. That's it. <laughs> Glitter. I, I, fig- I, fi- I figured you would get it with strippers and no. get <laughs> I got. I had it for a while. You, you bastard. <laughs> that is uh. just mean. Here I was trying to think of. Hmm. <laughs> Emma, what, what have you found? No, now? I just came across something really freaky. Yeah. Someone read it and this person was talking about how they found this website, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, they became fascinated, you know, click every once in a while, have a look at new pages. And they'd see some um, see some faces with some mistakes or errors, like they'd have some written font or some numbers somewhere. So like, oh, okay, yeah, it isn't real people. It's just fake, blah, blah, blah. And then after a little while, she saw it in the group again, or he. And then um, so she went back on. And it, they were trying to look for the strangest picture they could find in that Facebook group. And then after she she or he started clicking again, they saw their own picture. So they said, I found a photo of myself, not any photo I have posted on social media. It looked like someone took a picture of me whilst I was distracted. I didn't know to re- I didn't know to react. I saved it and sent it to my friends to see if anyone recognized it. None of those um, who answered knew that photo and some said it looked like it was taken in a rush, right? So she went back and started looking for information and then like saw on the bottom um, there was this little section that said um, help this AI continue to dream. So it says like what you see and there's a link, right? So she clicks the link and then it was taken to a website ending in dot onion. So Google faced it. Mm, Google onions. failed to access it. She said some of those websites ending in dot onion can be accessed through normal browsers if you add dot two after dot onion so the full thing would look like um page dot please onion don't go dot searching don't, please don't search i'm not and that's exactly what she did so um and then the computer came up saying your connection isn't safe but she was so concerned that she'd seen the picture of her so she accessed it anyway then when she accessed the website that photo was there and the description contained information about her full name age id number <gasps> location of where she lived work and study um but those were covered in gray with a message that says available after purchase so she was like what the f so she was so she cl- like clicked to buy it because she's like what the hell this is my information so um click to buy it um and then what the hell yeah so it said um after i come down a bit i decided to check if it was a scam like if i would just ask for money and give yeah. no guarantee blah 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 so i clicked the buy button and proceeded to check out there it asked her to choose a payment method um they were all cryptocurrencies and then asked me if i'd like to pick up on site or delivery which charged a bit more so i chose the first option was redirected to the payment part um then a chat came up and a person started talking to me so this is what it said Hi, thank you for using our services. She goes, hi, good evening. I was interested in this specific item but didn't feel safe enough to buy it. Do you offer any guarantee? They said, our services are among the best in this kind of business. What type of guarantee would you like? She said, I'd like to confirm I'm not going to be scammed out of my money or that the product's going to be delivered intact. And then they said, we could send you one of their common locations and you can go back there and check it out yourself. If you're interested, as for product integrity, we can assure we care about the quality of our merchandise. She said, yes, I'd like to check out one of their locations. Um, I want to inspect what I'm buying before I buy it. And they said, absolutely. Then they sent the address of her university followed by complete class schedule and said, 
those guys were not joking. And she's like, I appreciate the information, but I prefer the home address of my target. And they go, oh, yes, we usually provide our, our customers with the home address of their intended purchase, but we didn't have your exact address before you contacted us. So they knew that she was trying to trick us? Trick. But they, but the, but we we didn't have your exact address before you contacted us. What? I was thinking, what the hell is she purchasing? Herself? She's pushing herself, yeah. That is that last line. To be honest, I don't know if this is true or not. The story, I don't know if the story is true. If it is true, it's fucking, it's, it's, it's freaky. in depth. Yeah. But if it's not true. Someone goes, that la- that final line is chilling. It is chilling. It's a good story. It's a hell of a story. Like if you're watching a movie and that was the, the line before the movie actually started. Like imagine this was the intro and then that was the line. We didn't have your address. And all of a sudden on the screen you hear, you see dot, dot, dot. <gasps> and then blank, like a blinking. Holy no, no. shit. What we'll make it scarier is you hear this. Oh, knocking on the door or on the window? On the door. Oh. Oh. I don't know if that's like... But you open up, CJ, and it's just the mailman. But the mailman's really the guy that's actually going to do it. But he's just dressed as a mailman. And then all of a sudden she turns no, around yeah. and goes, oh, it's just a mailman. And all of a sudden, bang, grabs her. Oh, this is getting freaky. This is getting too freaky. But me and CJ should become producers and directors because uh, in this genre, because we uh, I got, got a twisted mind. <laughs> Sounds like burn that computer, move away from the state, completely change your face and erase your previous life. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming. <laughs> oh. I'm not going to use that anymore because that's... <laughs> It would be a good thriller, but it would you hear be. the knocking. Oh, it, black mirror. And, and, and then you're like, it can't be, it can't be, it can't be. She opens the door, no one there. Oh, so shit. So she walks outside, and next thing you see a hand. Yeah. See, me and CJ would be able to make the movie, but we wouldn't be able to watch the movie. <laughs> no, I could watch it. No, you couldn't. No, you Once. couldn't. <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> you. But someone just said, guys, just stopping to let you all know that this is tagged under books and writing. Yeah. It didn't actually happen. No need to be scared. Yeah. But still. <laughs> I, as soon as you were telling that, Sarah, I was like, that sounds like an epic, like, <laughs> an epic movie. Yeah. Like, that, that's a cool freaking thriller. <laughs> like, we have, to get, we have to get Morgan Freeman involved. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. <laughs> I I love that I love that guy in a thriller. Ooh, I'd prefer in him not in a thriller. He's been in, be was he in seven? Thriller. Yeah, he was in seven. Yeah, he was in seven. He was in the thriller. He, he was, was in, in the thriller. um glass breaking and, um, along, along oh, Un- spider. Unbreakable. Is it? What's it called? Nah, that was um Samuel Jackson. Ah. Oh. He was in Along Came a Spider. That's right. Thriller. That's right. Oh. I, I, I love him in a thriller. It's great. He's a pretty. He's a very versatile actor. Mm. Um, yeah, he's one of my favorite actors. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. All right. That was pretty good, eh? Yes. We went down a rabbit hole. Yes, and someone got taken. Okay, there's a couple weird products on sale here. First of all, Mm -hmm. if you like meat, you can buy bacon scented face masks at the moment. (laughs) Hormel Foods is giving them away, and you can. Put your name down to see if you can get one. Mm. But it's basically a face mask that mm. smells of bacon. Mm. Would you put one on? Nah. Nah. That I'm not morbidly you. obese. I'm just obese. <laughs> it's the, the <laughs> latest in pork scented technology, apparently. <laughs> and then the other strange, if you want one, go to breathablebacon.com. <laughs> and then the other strange. What? Um, Even the name is messed up. Yeah. Breathable bacon. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other strange product is um, Gwyneth Paltrow's candle. Wait, um, wait, 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 oh. wait, wait, wait. Why is that strange? Wait, CJ, do you find Gwyneth Paltrow attractive? Yeah. So what? you'd be one of the customers that would purchase her vagina uh, smelling candle? No. <laughs> it's not actually that. No. <laughs> if I said I, f- 
I said it, I found her attractive, right? Yeah. I didn't say I was fucking creepy. <laughs> <laughs> if, so. if if there was a if there was an actress out there, naturally we won't go down that narrative. Yeah, go continue, Ems. So it's actually. Oh no no no! The, the, the narrative was going. We're going to a weird place. Yes. Let's take no it. no no! I'll go afterwards. Go. So it's actually. She says it smells like her orgasm. So on the actual candle itself. I don't know itself, what the hell that means. On the candle itself, there's a little sticker and it's called Smells Like My Orgasm. Right. And But the smell is of, um, it's a blend I, I, of tart grapefruit, neroli, ripe cassis berries, blended with gunpowder tea and Turkish rose. Yeah, it's not actually like when she orgasm. I understand that, but... Um, I'm just saying, orgasm smells like gunpowder. I've never, like, you know, stuck my nose in the smell of orgasm before, you know? <laughs> is, that, is that intriguing to you, Siege, to smell her orgasm no. at all? There's no, no like, intrigue? No, not, even, not in the slightest. Is there an actor, actress out there that you'd want to smell her orgasm? Robert Downey Jr. What? <laughs> Did I say that out aloud? Did I say that? Um, um, I, I mean, I mean. <laughs> but it is the vagina no, candle. There, there, it, there is sold none. Out in hours. I want to smell orgasm, unless I'm participating in making them orga- orgasm. Mm. What was that, Ems? So, because she has her website Goop, right, which is what the series was based off. Yeah. Um, and the candles. Has... Even the even the name sounds weird. Goop. Yeah, the candles sold out in hours. The first time it was released, the vagina candle, and now they've released it again. Yeah, it was bought by the guy from Coldplay. Now, I think it's just intrigue, right? Like, it's in. But like, in all honesty, where can you light it up? At home. Yeah, but if you have guests over, they're like, "That's not smell. It's a, it's Gwyneth Paltrow's orgasm." Yeah, I don't think <laughs> it. I think it's what she. F- um, I think. It's what she feels or she thinks she smells like when she orgasms. I don't think it's actually her orgasm. I don't even, I don't understand. Is there an orgasm smell? You know what I'm saying? Like, what happened? Did she have an orgasm and a bunch of dudes came in to have a sniff and go, aha, uh-huh, I got it. We need a little bit of gunpowder oh, okay. in that candle. So you, got, you have to understand the, um, the TV series. The TV series was all about self-love and like um, exploring uh, masturbating no other stuff like um because she they jumped into the water and stuff mm-hmm. didn't they so with was, wim hof yeah mm-hmm. wim hof so it's about um learning about yourself and then understanding and it's all health basically yeah health and but beauty self-love isn't it there's mm. a lot about self-love wellness wellness and, and stuff so she i guess when she was in touch with her uh in uh, like herself when she was in touch with her who she was as a person, like I think she got to understand what she smelt like in certain situations. Like when she went to the gym, she smelt a certain way. When she went, um, when she was scared, she would have left off, let um, some uh, aroma. Odor. Yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not that intrigued what she smells like when she has an orgasm or when she's scared or when she, yeah. Uh. D- d- like, you know. I'm not intrigued. I'm not. I'm not intrigued on what I smell like in that situation. I was about to ask you that. You're not intrigued about your your scent. Do you think no. you could bottle your scent? No. And if you could, what would you name it? CJ's cum juice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A portion of that was the was the freak Emery out. <laughs> Succeeded. You can't take that back now. You can't. <laughs> oh man! Poor, poor Emma's face is still like oh. scrunched up. Like oh god. <laughs> Hmm. I think I. What's your name? Yours. I think I'd be more eloquent. I think I'd have a bit more, uh, a bit more uh, bravado. Bravado on, on, in my name. I'd what have, would you um, name it, mate? Uh, 
<laughs> what would I name it? <laughs> the flavors of Devon. <laughs> Uh, scratch, s- scratch and sniff time. <laughs> <laughs> what would you name it, buddy? Uh, uh, Emma's hating this topic right now. Because you know how they've got la mm-hmm. toilette, yeah, la toilette. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> la pena. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what I'd have it. I don't know, but I, I'd have to think about it. But it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be as brash as uh, your name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but my name would sell. I'd be like, damn, that's very direct. <laughs> yeah, you know how they've got gin and juice. Sipping on sea gin juice, <laughs> laid back. <laughs> Uh, do you have any anything more on that topic? No. No. You want to exit this topic? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Let's exit the topic. Okay. So, if you've ever visited like an old museum or a sacred place or something like that, have you ever sort of wanted to take? something back home with you from that place as a keepsake so are you saying <laughs> stealing <laughs> have i stolen anything from a sacred place yeah. is that what you're asking it have you have stolen to be anything? sacred but like a, uh, like a, a a special place i have taken from a church what a candle because hmm. um there are certain churches that you can like the small candles that yeah, you light. And then you give a donation. Mm-hmm. But I took the Did candle. Did the candle smell like... Um... Was it an accident? <laughs> no, I was young. I was young and I didn't I didn't give a donation. I just took the candle. Did you know that that's what you're not supposed to do? Like, mm. Were you confused? Is no, my no, I was not confused. Oh, you just wanted the candle. I knew what I was doing. And you didn't give a donation. He was just no. a thieving little so bastard. You did thief. Yeah, but I didn't have any money. Like I wasn't old enough yeah, to have money. You're not supposed to take the candle with you. Listen, I did what I did. <laughs> I did what I did. <laughs> Look at the, I'm absolutely. You're supposed I am to so light dis- it and leave it. I am it. so disappointed in you. <laughs> I actually didn't do anything with it when I got home. I think it was just on my desk when I got home. Oh but, uh, my goodness! I took it. Yeah. Just the memory of the crime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm actually shocked. Do, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. O- o- only you and God know about it, and everyone on the podcast. <laughs> so. This tourist visited Pompeii mm. um, 15 years ago yeah, and stole an artifact from there, which was two mosaic tiles, parts of an amphora, don't know what that is, and a, pe- and a piece <laughs> of ceramics, right? Yeah. So- it's still more than an item. It's still <laughs> half the place. <laughs> <laughs> the the tourist was from so, was a Canadian. So one. where did you get this mosaic? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's from Pompeii. No, it don't. <laughs> so it was a Canadian woman that stole it, right? Yeah. Um, Nicole, and she had visited Pompeii when she was in her twenties, and she just like she was just like, look, I just wanted to have a uh, she wanted to have a piece of history mm. that nobody could have. Um, however, she ended up posting it back. She posted it, posted them all back to a travel agent because she believed that they were cursed because after that she had constant bad luck. So she had two bouts of breast cancer. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, what else did she have? Hang on one sec. I've lost my place. Those, so those she's from playing people now. don't mess around, man. She had um, breast cancer twice, um, and the last time ended in a double mastectomy. Um, oh. Her fa- her and What's her that? family all had, like had financial problems, and she was just like she was like it has to be down to these artifacts that I stole. Um, they have bad like negative Juju. energy um, and because probably because they were linked to that land of destruction. So Pompeii was 
um it's that like volcanic ash it was it, the whole that whole city was buried in volcanic ash ash after the um massive eruption of the mount vesuvius um just for curiosity did you pronounce ash as esha esh esh <laughs> esh it's i'm getting south african again remember i said south african what does esh mean siege it's like Isn't a that smoking yeah, it's like a lad that no, dresses no, no. a certain Esha, way. Esha, I yeah. looked puff, puff, it up. Pass, pass, man. No, I didn't know it until it was here because they were. Remember, we spoke about it the other week. Eshe is um smoking, smoking up. No, but they call they call the lads eshes. Oh, that's right. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's an underworld subculture in Australia. Why are you saying it like that? Because it's like it underworld. <laughs> it's like underworld. It's just like what the kids say. Under surface. Um, with lower middle class youth originating from Sydney and Melbourne's graffiti scene. Right. Subculture was hev- heavily influenced by lower middle class. Co- that said it again. Housing commissions. Um, and it's like the the people that dress in all branded stuff. And it's funny whatever. where culture comes from, eh? Yeah. The culture always comes from the lower the middle. And then all of a you know, sudden it became pop always culture. Comes from, always comes from the poor. Mm-hmm. It's always been from the poor, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Pompeii was, <laughs> this. it was buried in AD 79. Is Pompeii uh, got bad juju, does it? Well, I don't, it, I think she believed it does because of what happened to her and the fact that it was a sad situation because it was after like the whole city or place area was covered, like they right, all died. Okay. Um, so AD 79 until and lay and it was completely laid buried until the 16th century when its rediscovery transformed um, the understanding of life in the classical world. Wow. Um, but yeah, so she said uh, she sent them back and she wrote a letter saying, um, "Please take them back. They bring bad luck." Has she had good luck ever since that moment? Doesn't say. Oh. But what is Could it interesting? Just be karma? What is interesting? Oh, it could be. What is interesting is over apparently over the years, so many people have stolen relics from there, and then have returned them to the site, along with letters saying how sorry they are for doing it. That the park officials have actually put together a museum displaying these stolen artifacts. (laughs) Really? Yeah. And the letters? Maybe. Maybe. Um, so w- w- when we go to Pompeii, don't steal nothing. Don't steal anything. Mm-hmm. And they said tourists want to keep the relics as souvenirs, but some the and and then they might send them back or keep them whatever. But some some thieves have tried to sell them. Like in 2015, a brick taken from there was um, in 1958 was put up for sale on eBay. <laughs> but like, yeah, there wow. you go. Do you believe in bad luck, Siege? No, I don't. So you don't believe believe in karma? No, I think if you do bad things to people, bad things are going to come back to you. So that kind of is yes then. Usually by one of those people they did bad things to. Hmm. Do you believe in bad luck? So we're saying bad luck is different from karma, hey? So just bad luck in general. Just bad luck in general. Mm. Yeah, do you guys believe in bad luck? Yeah. No. Dude, I'm not asking you, I'm not asking you if you're voting for Trump or Biden. No. I'm asking you if you that's a serious <laughs> that's a very very serious question, Siege. Why I believe it, in bad luck serious. because I believe like for instance, I've like all like heaps of stuff wrong with me and then there's like other people that have nothing. For instance, never have to step in hospital and then like you know, for no, I see that. I see that, that as difference. I think yeah, that you were the, born. Do you know what I mean? That's you know just why bad you luck. were born? No. Well, you can look at it that way. It's I reckon not, you were born that way because you're luck. resilient. You're resilient yeah. enough to handle all that kind of stuff. It's, There's some people that it, you see it, that it, ha- it, they they may be a, uh, have a good life, but they're not they're not as resilient as you. So when something bad happens to them, they fall apart. Whereas you you have only, to overcome. You you've had to overcome stuff already. Insane, but what? Yeah, okay. So, like, if someone gets disease or whatever, it's just because they can handle it. It's not just a bit of hate, bad luck. Yeah. See, now, a now, of bad luck. now, when you're saying it like that, I feel a bit guilty when I say they're resilient. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to one. Mm. Mm. I don't think it's luck. I think it's based on the environment that you live in. So you think it well? is all? What do you mean? Like, 
some people have caught cancer because they live near power plants and things like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And sometimes it's from the food that we eat and things like that, which actually make us sick. Mm-hmm. Well, Having well, all the processed food and all these kind of things, and your body doesn't react to it well. Well, there's um, there's this um author called Bill Bryson, right? And he's not a he's not a he. I don't know if he's an expert, but he did research on the human body and all parts of the human body. And he said that there's a brief um thing about cancer that says that we get cancer all the time. Like you've got cancer, CJ's got cancer, everyone's got cancer, but the um, the antibodies in our body kill them off. What? They constantly kill them off. And then there's sometimes that these antibodies can't kill them off and then they Great. turn into the cancer that everyone knows. But they work, they, our body is so spectacular that it keeps fighting these, these cancerous cells. Bill I'm Bryson. Researching this. If I'm wrong, blame Bill Bryson. If you're right, then I'm right. <laughs> also, 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 blame also Bill Br- Bryson. Also, Bill Bryson. <laughs> if you, if you're right or wrong, yeah. I was gonna say, you are like Trump wants to take the credit, but none of the um, <laughs> no negativity there. So, so my friend, um, okay, okay, Donald, continue. My friend was uh, going through a <laughs> patch of bad luck. Bad luck. Right, so he was crashing. He was crashing his car. He was constantly. <laughs> Are we talking about CJ? No, 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 no. No, I've crashed, it. I've crashed it three times in space of two months. He was crashing the car. He was doing. He was damaging stuff at work. He was just going through this whole. He was just going through this bad patch of constantly breaking stuff. Right. So he got a rock. He got this rock. Like a gem type rock. No, no, just a rock. It, like a good looking. Like it was just a nice rock. He, he and he held it, and. Like from that day on, when he found that rock, he thought it was a good luck rock. He's that um, all those, all the damage and all the car crashes stopped, and he okay, held on. Could, could it? He held could on it to be the. He's um, just in a negative mindset, which is why all the negative things were happening to him. You're, yeah, possibly, but the rock snapped him out of that mindset, which which started. So the he, so he picked up Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, he said. <laughs> he said. Mr. Rock, can you jump in my pocket? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. What? I'm going to go and get, uh, tell our kids to, like one of them loves rocks anyway. Yeah. I'm going to say, go find a really good rock. And when you feel anxious, you just look at this rock and go, I'm not going to hold this rock today. I'm not going to feel anxious anymore. I don't think it was a matter. Like I wasn't doing it yeah. as an exercise. I, it was just his, <laughs> I don't think, I don't think yeah, it's a I thing. I like it. Oh. I think that's one of Ernest's crazy friends. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. When he said he's been in a bunch of car crashes, I was like, "Oh, it's me." <laughs> and then you went to the rock ride. I'm like, "It ain't me." In, ter- in, ter- in terms of what you're saying, do we all have potentially cancerous cells in our bodies? This um, science blog dot uh, cancer research dot uk mm. cancer research uk dot org. Oh, gosh, I can't speak today. So it says, uh, yes, uh, we do potentially all have cancerous cells in our in our bodies. Um, and they go on to say what can turn these potential cancerous cells into cancer. Yeah. Um, and basically you say it's a game of cellular cat and mouse. So our cells come with a inbuilt safety systems that can stop cancer developing. But sometimes they slip through. They slip through the, yeah. Um, isn't that insane? It's insane. Insane. Just like an under eighteen in a nightclub, the bounce is always <laughs> no. checked, but one always gets in. I like. I sort of. I sort of like the analogy. <laughs> sort of. Hmm. Um. Is there any more to that article? What was that article? No. Oh, the tourist stealing yeah. stuff. No, no, that was it. It was yeah. just intriguing that. Um. Yeah. How she was like. Wow. Okay. This is. Co- yeah, because oh, so like I've watched series before about paranormal. Yeah. I love love those types of stuff. I don't. No, me, I me neither. Like I love it. What, You're always tempting you? fate. That because you. How are you tempting fate by watching you, it? If you say because I sometimes say okay because I I believe in this kind of stuff. Right? So if I say um I'm gonna watch it. That means that they know that I believe, so they'll come. Is that what you're thinking? No, I wasn't thinking that, but now, <laughs> okay. Oh, now, wait, now that you said it. Wait, what were you thinking? Um, I'm, what do you I'm, mean I'm, by I'm thinking, fate? I'm thinking Emma's a bit gullible because she believes in that kind of stuff. 
in the paranormal. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, no if, if, look, I don't know if the paranormal exists. I don't know, like, if what is the the gap between our reality and the afterlife. If there's nothing after this, then that there's nothing. But I don't know if there's a bridge. I don't know any of that stuff. People will go, there's no scientific proof, which is fine. But there's a lot of sign things in science that we can't see. Like we see everything. Yeah, but there's in no 2D. scientific proof in That's what I'm saying. And, like, and most people. But what I'm saying is there is a third dimension, a fourth dimension, a fifth dimension, we but we can't, can't see because mm. all we see is two, sec, two dimensions. So mm. it, it Not me. exists. I got, a, I got a 4K TV. <laughs> But that doesn't matter. You only see two I'm, dimension. I'm, I'm saving for AK TV. <laughs> that doesn't make anyway. So, it does. So like for me, I don't know if that exists, and I don't want to like the people that go out to find these people. I don't understand what they're trying to find. Like even if it does exist, right? It's not good. Why is it not good? <laughs> because obviously, if you have a, a ho- not... if you have a poltergeist, n- not good. But a what? A poltergeist. What's a poltergeist? It's, it's a ghost, a demon. It's it, it, well, actually, yeah. So poltergeists are the ones that are notorious for being able to pick up objects, even though they throw them at you. Yeah, they can throw oh, them at okay. you. They can move things around. Um, so they're the ones you tend to see in like I, scary I, films. I think or people have said they've been sexually assaulted by poltergeists as well. Like right. they have, yeah. But um. So I was watching. I can, I can imagine you being sexually assaulted. Ernest. I am a good-looking guy. Guys. I'm a good-looking guy. Yeah. So I was watching. Maybe um, Morgan Funny for Days. <laughs> oh me! Oh paranormal yeah. series or whatever. Yeah. And it was and like you know it's talking about different things, but this particular guy, for instance, had um had bought a uh, this this car, this red like Chevy type car. He d- he'd wanted it for years, and he bought one, and then ever since he bought it, it was basically cursed or wasn't cursed but it came with a spirit and it was a bad spirit and right. and he didn't realize and then with he the realized poltergeist. um did the car yes. start driving by itself no yeah. no and then he why, why didn't he drive really fast with all the windows open no, like he didn't he, realize it was the car at first um because he'd move he into a new roof, home as well right, and he'll fly away because can't keep up <laughs> and then like there's all this strange stuff kept happening in the house and then one night he looked into the car and like he just saw the figures out in the car, and he just got rid of that car, and then everything was fine. Right. So some people leave like you, when how they do you saw that car, and they have like post glass included. Well, he didn't say yeah, but like when they buy <laughs> antiques or whatever, like some antiques or whatever might come with a, a spirit attached to really? it. Really? Yeah. Or like it's you know so. Ah, I don't like then, it. Yeah. Anyway. I so I was just like saying it. about objects being cursed. Um, this lady thought that those objects were cursed. I think Ernest. I think what's behind you? Because I uh, um oh, that doesn't something behind you, bro. Because I think the <laughs> Filipino culture is is very into ghosts and paranormal and like to the point where the films freaky. That, well, they make it freaky. It's not high quality, right? The 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 video isn't <laughs> you see high the quality. Strings attached. Well, it's 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 to the point where it's so like C grade, the movie C grade, dude. but it's scarier because it's C no, grade. Dude, I, I have seen, right, um, some Filipino directors. I watched a documentary on Filipino movie directors. Yeah. And the old school ones and some of the movies they've made. They looked hilarious, mate. They looked absolutely golden. Yeah, when they make in the making it looks hilarious. But once they when they put it together, it's sort of there's like one of just like this little dude who's like a martial artist. Yeah. Like he was like I'm not, I'm not sure what's the correct term. <laughs> Choose small, your words. A small person. Choose your words wisely, brother. Is, is it a small person? A little correct. person, I think. A little person? But it was like a little person, but not really a little person, who's just really short. Yeah. So it was just a short person? <laughs> just an r- extremely short person. <laughs> yeah. So I don't understand. What was the, what, what's the whole point of the story? And he was doing these kung fu movies, and he was the main... Star, yeah. I'm just saying, Dave. You guys come up with some twisted what, stuff. What, what's the hell? What's the funny part, mate? I'm still waiting for the funny part. Oh, he wants you all to these big guys to be attacking this little dude. Uh, yeah, right. And he'd be flipping him, kicking him, <laughs> punching him. But I don't understand. Was the? Have you watched any scary movies? Filipino scary movies. I I watched a documentary on the Filipino directors. Yeah, and they said that they try to make their movies the ones that I saw. Um. With some comedy to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but the the 
uh, like going back to the scary. But there's some friendly ghosts. There's a lot of friendly ghosts. Casper. They're not all. They're not all like evil or bad. The, the only ghost I know is Casper, and even him, he's scary. And some of them are what just trying to, to, trying to make contact, or some of them don't realize that they're just still hanging about. I well, we don't know. Don't How know. can you not realize you're hanging about? How can you not realize you're loitering? What? How can you not realize you're loitering? Who the ghost? You're walking because they've got yeah, you're walking around, business. You, you're walking around, like, and you talk. Yeah. Like, hey, Ernest, what are you doing today? And you don't answer them. Like, oh, he's an ear snob. <laughs> hey, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the Sixth Sense? Sixth Sense. Oh, I can't watch. Yeah, but that kid could see dead people. We can't Only watch. that. So he's, having a conver- he's having a conversation with that child. Yeah. Right. Which made him feel real. But wouldn't because he was having a co- he was having a conversation with his wife, she wasn't answering him, so they thought he thought they were fighting. Didn't you? But wouldn't you think that was weird? What I'm saying is, there's a wait. Okay. What happens in the I, end I, with I, that? Like, I forgot. Like, like, oh, like you're, you're you're married, right? Yeah. Have you ever had an argument with your spouse where she hasn't talked to you because you're being a dick? Yeah, but not for like uh, not f- for as long as the movie's on. The movie's on for like ages. Wait, like, tell me what hours. happens again because I only watched it once. No, not the actual movie, but within the movie, it's like over like a six a month week. period. No, I, was, oh, I think it was like a week or two. No, it wasn't. Yeah. It was like six, and, w- six months. And she was having conversations with him, not knowing he was there. She was talking to herself and he was having a conversation with her. Yeah, and that's he right. She was ta- and, he, and he thought she was talking to him. Was it over a month? A month? I don't know. Yeah, it was over a long know. period. Anyways, have you to see, you, you got to watch Sixth Sense? Because because I've watched like, it in the past when I was younger, and it freaked me out, and I never watched it again. So but you're older now. You can watch it. Yeah, now. but was it scary? It was okay. Wait, is the ghost scary? No, it's Bruce Willis. No. The boy sees dead people. He doesn't even. He doesn't even see. Yeah, but I he, think there was a scary. Bit. It was like I see dead people. Like was, was a freaky scary? kid, man. Like. I, I, like if I had a kid, no. and he yeah, said it's that, the I kid. Probably, I probably did it in my shorts. Yeah, was it the kid that's <laughs> freaky? And now he oh. sees some weird stuff. Yeah, he sees like a, he sees some weird crap, like a little girl, a car accident, the yeah. people walking past, and all that. Mm, I don't know about that. But it's a great, it's a great movie. It is it's a one great of Bruce movie. Willis's. Best. Like you can't watch. You can watch it once, but then once you find out the ending, it's sort of meh. Yeah. Now, because once you find out the ending, he, they go back and explain. Unlike Tenant, you know. Yeah. They go back and explain what the hell happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they fast Maybe forward. Maybe I should watch it again. Yeah. Just Maybe. with you and in the daytime with all the lights on. Yeah. Yep. Okay. 100%. Um, well, that's it. That's it for another week. Oh, really? the podcast. Okay. Thank you so much for conversing <laughs> <laughs> with us. Sorry, that was a bit uh, sharp. I was like, wait, what? That was a bit sharp. It wasn't that. He didn't lead to the cutoff. No, it didn't lead to the cutoff. No, he, to the cutoff. he just went straight and full to stop, it, mate. The end. Freaking hell. Huh? Hey, it's over. <laughs> Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Bye. Bye. Bye.